So welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is the Beachview neighborhood in the southern part of Pittsburgh. This is a home I just remodeled. So come on inside, check it out. I wanna show you all the details that I had renovated in this home. You can obviously see the first thing we did was paint these steps to give it a much nicer clean feel. Did the exterior, got some new siding, a new front door, new lighting, really dressed everything up. So come on in. All right, so one of the big things about this home was this entryway. It looked awful. The ceiling was all really horribly textured and there was many, many patches. So we put a, a laminate floor down that actually looks like hardwood. Uh, this is a pergo floor and we wanted to go with this natural color, which made a big difference um, with the appearance of everything. But what I'm impressed with is how much it actually looks like hardwood. You almost can't tell other than the feel of it uh, on your feet. But uh, yeah, the entryway is always an important thing. It makes the biggest impression to the home. Uh, and then obviously having everything freshly painted, all your outlets and switches are changed out, and some decorative light fixtures to give some uh, ambiance. Uh, we actually kept the old fireplace, which is still in great shape. Uh, one detail you'll notice uh, that we took the time to actually cut underneath so that we can slide our laminate underneath rather than having any type of trim, which really makes it a nice natural look. Um, coming into the dining room, we really cleaned up these bay windows. Honestly, this was always the area that I always hated the most uh, besides the entryway was this bay window area because it had old storm windows. You could never see outside. There's always spider webs in between the two panes. So we cleaned everything up, replaced, removed those exterior storm lights. And it really, you know, now it's one of my favorite features. It really gives a, a great look. I could definitely see, see a nice big dining room table in here and having plenty of seating in this area. It's so coming into the, the half bathroom. We have a pretty nice vanity that we actually took a dresser top and turned it into a sink with a vessel sink really gives some character and style and also gives that kind of retro, um, you know, old school look. The mirror lighting, side lights, that was always a popular thing in the 1900s or 1930s, I guess you could say. Uh, we went with a slate floor, which that really, um, really gives a natural look to the place. And again, it's all about trying to restore this back to those 1900s. Uh, homes, so we didn't want to do anything too modern, but we wanted to have some um, nice clean lines for most things. Coming into the kitchen, this is a, kind of a light update, but it really made a huge difference in impression. Putting some granite countertops on, getting some stainless steel appliances, uh, a light fixture. Boy, I tell you what, having a light fixture like this in the kitchen just changes the whole atmosphere. Uh, it really made a big difference, even though it's not like something that takes a lot of effort to do. Um, so that's one design idea you definitely want to take is, you know, put a nice light fixture in your kitchen. It really kind of makes the whole feeling of the place a lot nicer. Um, you know, we got the, the new sink faucet, nice deep uh, farm sink essentially here. And just simple things like putting a bifold over our um, little pantry nook here kind of finishes things off. But uh, yeah, this was kind of a quick, easy kitchen remodel, but it really made a big difference in the appearance of how this looks. Put a new for back door in. We did keep the light transom above to bring that nice natural light in. I, I love these kind of doors. They have the little blinds inside of them. So they're really, you know, they don't get, they don't flop when you open the door and they always look good. So that really, uh, it was a, a nice feature and having a door that always works is really important. Coming out to the back, just some smaller updates, painting the floor. And if you remember what the backyard looked like, this is a big transformation. This took a lot of effort to do. So we actually have some grass growing back here, put the privacy fence up. Now it truly is like your own little oasis back here. Um, very private, very serene. The tree, I actually really like. It kind of gives some nice shade to the area too.
So we redid some the concrete steps that were kind of all deteriorated. There was an old chain, chain link fence that we re, uh, got out of here. Uh, so now you have access straight to the main T line. You could go right down into Pittsburgh on the transit. So you have access to that main road now, which is a really great, a lot of great restaurants up there. Um, you know, it's really, really going to be convenient for anybody who lives here. So coming upstairs, we've got some new carpet. Makes a big difference. Everybody's going to love these big bedrooms. You know, there isn't going to be any fighting over which bedroom's the best because they're all really large sized. This is the front room. We put a new window in this particular room, um, mainly just to aesthetically make it look nice outside because we replaced the bathroom window as well. But very nice 10, I think this is 11 by 13. Everything's freshly painted. And uh, yeah, really, uh, really enjoyable size bedrooms. In a lot of ways, this could be considered the master because this is like the largest bedroom, 11 by 14. And again, you've got a lot of light with these windows and uh, large, spacious, really nice, some really nice room in here as well. Ceiling fans, also kind of a nice feature, kind of gives you some warmth to the room. And then this is the uh, third bedroom. It's probably the smallest, but still decent sized. This is uh, basically 10 by... 12 and uh, so as you can see some nice windows bringing nice some light into the space as well and then the big treat you're really going to enjoy this is the bathroom put a lot of effort and time into this and it really came out wonderfully i'm really really happy with it we got even got heated flooring in here which is just phenomenal uh, you're really going to enjoy this bathroom. As you can see, we kind of kept, kept it in that retro modern look with the mint green tile. Got some recessed niches. Even went all out with a handheld with our tub spout rain shower head. Uh, this is a nice deep soaker. This is an American Standard Studio tub, 32 inches wide by 19 inches deep. So it's a nice deep soaking tub. And uh, yeah, I mean, really, we wanted to do the wainscoting to kind of give that older 1900s look and keep it clean and keep it serene. So also have these drawer cabinets, which are really great. Looks uh, fantastic. You know, you're going to really love these. Um, all gold fixtures. That is definitely something that uh, is popular these days and looks great. This is actually a swivel faucet, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we're really hoping to the new owner is going to really enjoy this bathroom. Uh, the window brings a lot of nice natural light in, which is great. And uh, yeah, so this whole this layout compared to what it was is much, much better. And all new plumbing, everything, you know, completely redone. So this is going to be something that's going to last, you know, decades. I mean, should last a lifetime here. Okay, then coming into our attic room. This is a very spacious bedroom. I could almost see someone when I'm making this their master bedroom because it's so large. Basically 14 feet. This is basically 14 by 26, so it's the full attic space. Really nice size closet. Um, yeah, it's all ready to go up here. This is really a great space. We also have some great closet space as well, which I know is important to everyone. So this is a nice quiet room. I love the I love having a window facing out the front off the gable. Kind of gives you a street view. Gives it a really comfortable feeling up here. I've always loved uh, the attic spaces when they're finished like this.
coming down into the basement. Again, this is a 1900s home, so you have to be aware of that. So down here, basically got a new hot water tank. We serviced our furnace room, painted everything. Uh, so it's a nice, dry, clean basement. Uh, we got our laundry hookups here with our vent going outside. And we also have basement access out to the backyard as well. So thanks for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed the tour. If you wanna check this out yourself, you can uh, check out the link below. Um, this is in Beachview, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Really nice, quiet neighborhood. And I hope you enjoy the home if you're possibly the new buyer.